And there it is. Austin Matthews just hit a new career high in goals, scoring 61 of the year in game 73. And he's just sitting pretty on the side of the net as the big league sauce boss TJ Brody finds him through the mess for an easy tap-in. A very Zach Hyman-esque goal here for Poppy. He must have been watching the highlights last week as well. But just like that, Matthews has a new career high at 61 after already cementing himself as a two-time 60-goal scorer over the weekend. And he's not done yet. Just nuts. The guy keeps raising the bar for himself. Imagine if he can do it again next year. But back to the game, and this one was a big one between Atlantic Division rivals. The Leafs would take the 2-0 lead into the second thanks to a beautiful save by Samsonov. Brandon Montour would get one back for Florida, however, to make it 2-1. But Toronto banged in three more from Bertuzzi, Camp, and of course the kid Nyes to make it 5-1. Things would get a little spicy in the third as Tarasenko tips one early, making it 5-2. Then 10 minutes later, Tarasenko again, but this time he's in the giving mood as he gives it to Reinhardt, putting away his 52nd, 5-3. Then under two minutes to go, Tarasenko finds Sam Bennett, who cocks it back, rips it to the back of the net, making it a one-goal game. Story of their lives for the Leafs, but after another minute of squeaky bum time, Matthews gets it, almost bubbles the chance, then launches number 62 down the ice into the empty net. Leafs take it 6-4. A nutty little Monday night game, but a big two points for the Leafs against the Cats, who, based on the odds I saw today, are the consensus pick from Vegas for Stanley Cup favorites. The Leafs don't need the points for the playoffs, though they haven't clinched yet. Taking those two from Florida is big because it means they don't leapfrog Boston in the standings for the top of their division. And it might actually be a bit academic because the Leafs are going to have a tough round one either way. They can move up a spot, down a spot, stay third in the Atlantic. They're probably going to be facing either Florida or Boston. If it's me, I'll take the overtime point merchants, the Boston Bruins. Maybe the Leafs will then finally break the curse as well. Brandon, he thinks the Leafs want to avoid Boston. I totally get that as well. But hey, this game is also a message to Florida as well. If they play them and they play them like they did tonight, they can beat them. Although the Leafs also almost did give it away. But who do you think the Toronto Maple Leafs want to play in round one? Who should they want to play anyway? The Panthers or the Bruins? And how about Matthews? Eight games left for the Leafs, eight goals away from 70. Could he possibly do it? Does he have maybe a hat trick left in him? Let us know below.